Hello everyone, welcome to my live stream again. This is like my third time legitimately trying to do this stream and I hope I fix the last problem. <laughs> I'm already halfway through opening this box when I uh, noticed that uh, the sound indicator was not moving and it turns out that uh, because I had to reinstall this camera to fix the previous problem it created a new problem where it wasn't turned on as the microphone so no sound okay we got it now though I think we've got all the problems or most of the problems the stream itself looks a little bit choppy still but right now there's no viewers other than yours truly so I don't think anybody is suffering since so I'll put the recording on um, YouTube later and it looks like the recording isn't choppy so I'll deal with that because I don't have I don't have any more time to deal with issues today I have homework to do but look at how cute this teeny tiny kneaded eraser is it's so small it's the smallest kneaded eraser I've ever seen and I really like this it's so cute it looks like heart sprinkles rainbow heart sprinkles the monthly sticker what's this this little piece of Stonehenge paper or something. Just test paper for me to use. Ooh, there's even more stuff. Oh, right, because this is February. That's why it's hearts. My actual snap. Mm. And this is the February box. I guess I should say all the stuff I've said like twice now <laughs> which is I'm finally catching up on opening my art snacks boxes I had thought I'd be able to open them like I could stream once a week during school but it was way too hard 16 credits was a lot harder than I thought it would be and I passed all my classes with flying colors but I had to you know put everything else in my life on the back burner so I'm on February here today, opening February box. It's like four months ago, finally opening it. I got reminded that this is February because this is pink. It's pink rather than white. So let's see, what do we got here? Put this, put this off to the side. This. Here's the actual snack in this box. Smarties candy. Um... They usually gave us those sweet hearts, or sweet tarts, or whatever they were called, but I think they went out of business, so they have to give us Smarties this time. Mm, I want to eat these. Smarties! Okay. Menu. Let's go through these one by one. Let's see what we've got here. Zebra Delgard Mechanical Pencil, 5 millimeter. Well, 0 0.5 millimeter. That's got to be this. Delgard mechanical pencil. Oh, no, oh, excuse me. Can't help yawning. HB 0.5 millimeters, fine point. It's nice that it comes with its own little pack of lead. Hmm, should I read this or should I read the menu first? I guess I'll read this first. Uh, Delgard Unbreakable Lead. Wow, that is a, uh, <laughs> look at this zebra doing yoga. Find Zen in your pen. Zebra. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, unbreakable Lead is a big, uh, goodness, I'm so sorry. Uh, big, um, claim to make. Click once, twice, three times. Unbreakable. Oh, it has a star, though. <laughs> Clicking more than three times increases the chance of breakage. It's not unbreakable. Okay. I think it means that within normal parameters, it's unbreakable. Okay. Take away your most common frustration of fine point mechanical pencils. Broken lead. Delgard's double spring patent pending mecha mechanism ensures lead is secure, adding protection from breakage 
with all writing styles, both vertically or on an angle. Oh, vertical writing like this. Okay. Provides a precise and enjoyable writing experience. Try it. We dare you. Unbreakable lead. Actually, my biggest problem is not that the lead breaks at the tip. My biggest problem is the lead breaks inside, and then as I'm clicking it down, the broken part comes, and then there's this little tiny broken bit, and it keeps just going back in because it's broken, and I have to pull out that little, like, half an inch and throw it away, and then click it down. But it looks like a nice, comfy pencil. So regardless of the breakable thing, or unbreakable thing, not really much else to... Made in Japan. Oh, goodness gracious. It's made in Japan, packaged in Mexico, and sold from Zebra Pen Corps, Edison, New Jersey. What does the menu say about it? Spring into action with the Zebra... Well, at least it's just barely still spring for me. Okay. Because it's like, you know, spring into action. Okay. This pencil takes away the frustration of broken lead thanks to its double spring mechanism. Mechanism. The spring absorbs pressure and allows the lead to retract, making breakage nearly impossible. Well, maybe it will help with the inside part. Stocked with plenty of HB lead and extra refills, you'll experience a precise and enjoyable writing experience with this tool. Experiences in here. Experience and experience. Okay, next. There's that pencil. Next is these pastels, Rembrandt. Rembrandt soft pastel set of five. Oh, this pencil is six ninety nine retail, so basically seven bucks. These are basically ten bucks. Let's see what it has to say on the box. Uh, Rembrandt soft pastels, excellent color release, intense and pure colors. Good to highest degree of light fastness. Very high coloring power due to high concentration of pigment. Free of pigments based on the metals lead, cadmium, and cobalt. So that means that they're non, well, for less toxic. <laughs> the complete range consists of 218 colors. Wow, that's a lot. What does Art Snacks have to say about these? Um, they're new to Art Snacks, and it's an exclusive first look. That's cool. Although I'm really late to the party. Um, Rembrandt soft pastels have been the most commonly used pastels in the world for many years. And now Art Snackers are getting an exclusive first look at some new sets. Your set of five compatible hues features intense, pure color, and the highest degree of light fastness. Due to being produced with kaolin, an extra fine clear china clay, or is it kaolin? I have no idea. Kaolin. Uh, these pastels have a velvety softness perfect for layering techniques. Hmm. Oh, I've got... Wow, I'm just going to be yawning through the whole stream, I guess. I should have gotten my Java monster. Oh, what the heck. I'm the only person watching right now. I'll go get it real quick. Alright, got me a uh, Loka Mocha Java Monster. Woo! This flavor always reminds me of going on road trips. Dang, I opened it far away. It's still kind of exploded over here. I always get a monster for my road trips. Driving eight hours to Portland or ten hours to Seattle or whatever. Hopefully 
Hopefully this will wake me up. Mmm. Delicious. I love Monster. Monster is my favorite energy drink. It's been my favorite since it came out. I love all the flavors. They're so good. Next is the White Pit Pen, which I had just looked at right before I realized that the sound wasn't working before. And it's pretty exciting. White Pen. I want to test it on here right now. White 101 Pit Artist Pen. And it says 1.5. And for some reason, this brand always uses the comma instead of a period on the lid but see here they use period I don't know why they do that Whew. it's just always a uh, kind of bugged me a little bit Faber Castell pit artist pen bullet nib white 101 and it has three asterisks I don't know why it says India ink waterproof maximum light fastness waterproof that's cool um acid free what else anything else Made in Germany. Mm. Neat. What does the menu have to say about it? It's a Faber Castell White Pit Artist Pen, 1.5 millimeter bullet nib, and it's 360 retail. Staff favorite. Filled with opaque white India ink, this Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen will be a staple in your supply stash. Waterproof, permanent, and extremely light fast. India ink is a popular choice among artists. Yeah, I love India ink. It's the best. It stands out beautifully on dark paper and is great for adding highlights. You can even try it out on top of pastels to achieve a soft blended effect. Okay, guess I'll try it on these pastels. Um, next, this teeny tiny itty bitty kneaded eraser is the smallest little needed a way to I ever seen how big is this it's so small it's a little over an inch wide and like three quarters of an inch tall it's just so small it's so small okay this just says Faber Castell needed eraser Didn't have any. it has some uh has a barcode on the back okay uh, 75 cents <laughs> retail introducing the perfect artist tool the kneaded eraser this eraser doesn't wear down or leave behind residue so it lasts much longer than other erasers start warming up your new eraser by pulling and folding its body and that sounds so cute by pulling and folding its body <laughs> looks like you're giving it a massage or something okay Mold it into whatever shape you need to pick up extra pastel pigments or add highlights to your work. To clean, restretch, and knead the eraser into itself. So these are the four main items. Um, Art Snacks always gives you four to five. Well, that's what used to be on their website. Sometimes they give you a lot more, but for, um, last time I read it was four to five full size items but oops trying to make this one nice looking but there's this bonus item which is this little piece of paper and as I guess is a Stonehenge they love sending Stonehenge paper it says it's Stonehenge craft paper by Legion paper it's a bonus item as I said inspired by the industrial look of paper grocery bags Stonehenge craft paper features a 100% cotton earth toned surface perfect for your new pastels if you enjoy this paper, full-size pads are available for purchase in the Art Snacks shop. Oh, I forgot about the joke. Okay, there's always a joke on here. Oh, and this one is like a joke joke. Want to hear a joke about paper? <laughs> Never mind, it's terrible. Because paper is terrible but the joke is terrible <laughs> I like it I especially like it because when you when oh when I read it I didn't get it at first but when I hear it 
I think terrible, the other terrible first. Oh, I can't explain it right. <laughs> Alright, this is about their mix. It's their online community. And then here's the Art Snacks Challenge, which I'm going to attempt. The Art Snacks Challenge is use all the supplies in your box and nothing but the supplies in your box unless you didn't get a paper to create something, some piece of artwork. So that's what I'm going to do. Move this other stuff. Put this. Put these up here. Oh, put them in the corner. Put them in this corner. Oh wait, put the menu here. Ooh, there. Menu, sticker, other sticker. But this paper is so tiny. Okay. Let's see what I've got. Uh, mechanical pencil. Yellow pastels. Ooh, it's trying to pop out. Yellow pastels. And this one is basically white. In fact, I won't be surprised if it is white. Ooh. Gotta open this little eraser. wrapped and wrapped again. There we go. These kind of erasers are good for this sort of material. These like pastels or charcoal or if you're doing a completely graphite drawing or even sometimes if you're doing a, a big colored pencil drawing but I don't use them very much for the kind of work that I prefer to do because they're not that great when you're just trying to erase cleanly for a drawing where you're going to where you draw in pencil first and then you ink it later or something like that. They're not tough enough, I guess. Well, my stream seems to be hanging in there so far. Oh, it was so hard to fix all the issues. Mm, another sip of my loca mocha. Maybe it's just the placebo effect, but I already feel less yawny, less yawny than I was, I don't know, five, ten minutes ago. Wow, this does feel really sturdy when I click it it's like boom it just feels like whoa whoa <laughs> feels a lot yeah just the whole the whole clicking mechanism going up and down just feels super sturdy I wish I could um wish there was some way to show you it's just something you gotta feel this zebra pen what am I gonna do though I've got all this yellow a white and mechanical pencil. Hmm, what should I do? I've got this super long paper. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yellow. Yellow. What does yellow make me think of? I guess I'll just do flowers. I don't have too much time. So I'll just draw some flowers. Let's make them up. <laughs> kind of like candy. Mm -hmm. Flower, flower. I drew a flower. What next? Another flower. 
Yeah, I guess we'll draw another flower. <laughs> Looks kind of like a face. Okay, I'll just do like some swirly. Viney type things to fill up the space. Some, maybe I'll do sort of um <clears throat> what do you call those things? Zentangle or something? Where you're just filling it up with lines. Although I do have all these pastels to work with. So. Hmm. Hmm. Should I do? I'll just do whatever comes to mind. Oh, this one ended up with seven petals. Alright, what the heck? Just leave it in the center. What am I going to do for it? Well, this one is so green looking. So let me start with it. Such a uh, I think you can sort of see it. It both stands out and blends into the paper color. I think it would stand out better on something like 
maybe a red paper or black Sleepy again. No, 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 no. Mm. Let's leave off of that for a little bit. What next? Maybe I'll do this vibrant yellow in the middle of the flowers. Yeah, this is good. This is just white. Thought maybe I just wasn't seeing it well and it was super light yellow, but it's just white. Which is too bad. I don't know if they all, all these little color packs come with the white, but it kind of sucks because then this doesn't really get to shine. This white pen. Although it will make more, I imagine, will make more refined marks than what I'm able to get with this super thick, super thick pastel stick. Hmm, I don't know what else to do, and it's not, um, these are all such similar colors that once I use them, it's not really gonna, they're just gonna all blend together. Hmm. Maybe I'll do something like a gradient across the background from... I'll start light over here from light to dark and just fill the whole thing in lightly. I'll use my finger to spread it out. For me, pastels aren't really a thing that I would normally use like this with just one little package of only five colors. It's the kind of thing where I would want to have a huge range of colors. And then I would blend from all those different colors. But I think these are mostly so that you can just try it out. I think that's why it mentioned on here that you can... Um, yeah, it says the complete range consists of 218 colors. So this is just like a tiny little sample. Should show you what they can do, I think. I think that's what the point is. Since this is an art snacks challenge, I'm just going to use my finger to blend. Rather than getting out one of my blending stumps. So with the challenge I like to use as few outside tools and supplies as possible. And like I thought, you can't really tell the difference once it's all at least on this paper, between these three, not that big of a difference. Go 
couldn't do this to. Just do the whole thing. And then I will put more on top. It will stand out nicely. This looks kind of cool though by itself. Hmm, should I use this pen yet? I can also use this to do some shading. Eh, I guess I'll do a little bit more. Green. And the stems. I think what pastels are really good at is when you work on a huge piece of paper and then when you're up close you can see like lots of texture you can see the paper shining through but when you step back 10 feet or something you can really uh, it, it's kind of like an optical illusion as you step back it you see the picture come together. If you haven't looked at art in a, an art museum or gallery before, you might not know what I'm talking about or or done that kind of thing in a class or something, but I love it when you can do that with artwork. You can you step back and you know the whole picture is coherent and everything, but when you're right up close to it, you can see the brush strokes or the 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 lines that were pulled across the page or whatever. I need to take a paper towel or something. Paper towel. Now, what else? Do a little bit more for these little center bits. I guess what I'm trying to say about the pastels is this sheet is so small that you need to be really precise, but these pastels are so huge that it's almost impossible to be really precise. It's not like using a colored pencil, it's so sharp. So what I'm going to do here is pull this in toward the center. This extra white that I've done. Mmm, this loca mocha is freaking delicious. I don't get them very often, but we had a coupon. And we went grocery shopping, so we got some, a couple of them. Okay. I guess what I'll do now is some pencil work.
doing it kind of rough and uh, not jagged, but lines with a lot of energy. I'm using lines with a lot of energy. I'm not trying to be super precise. I'm just sort of messing around. I want the graphite to have a chance to shine. Make a little border. Graphite works pretty good on top of these pastels, so something to keep in mind. I love the clicking mechanism of this. I it might this might become my new favorite chemical pencil. It's also pretty comfy and it's really really light, so it's not fatiguing. But even though it's blue, which is my least favorite color, since it's metallic, I still really like how it looks. to fill in the space in the background. Did a lot of this for one assignment in my drawing class last semester. This kind of hatching. I really like this style of hatching. It's so it's relatively easy to do and I think the end result looks really nice.
zoom that in. Now I'm just gonna use this. Oh wait, you know what? I haven't used this yet. Oh, how am I gonna use this? I don't know if it's really gonna make that big of a difference on this. Brown paper. It's definitely pulling stuff up, but. Well, at least there's video ev evidence. I definitely, I definitely used it. <laughs> I guess it's making a little bit of a difference. There, what the heck? That's good enough. It's a little teeny tiny eraser. It's so cute. It's so small. It's just teeny tiny. Most of the kneaded erasers I've ever had are at least twice as big as that. Okay, finally, last thing from the Art Snacks box. white pen let's see how it works oh yep i wondered if this might be like this really big white pen that i have from um this brand faber castell and it is it's exactly the same it's just a smaller delivery it's a smaller nib oh it works really good on top of the pastel can you see that put these little dots on the i don't know if you can see the dots on the yellow part in the middle. Especially nice on the brown paper. I'm going to bring out some of these background elements.
Well, the whole thing is really muted, but I think that looks pretty good. That's nice. Considering the colors I had to work with. I think with brown I would have preferred a red or orange or something like that, but... That's it for my art snacks challenge, but... Oh, it's kind of late, but my buddy, my best friend actually, sent me a surprise, I think a couple weeks ago now, and I wanted to use, it was surprise art supplies, I wanted to use them and see what I could do with them. So let me put this stuff away real quick. I've got them just right over to my side or whatever. <laughs> Refill. It's really nice that it came with refill lead. So this is what she sent me. Glitter paint. And a watercolor journal from Strathmore, which is really awesome. Decent weight paper. It's um, 140 pound. It's got the nice hard cover in it. My favorite is this wire bound so that it can lay nice and flat. So let's see. Mm, Visual journal from Strathmore. Cold press watercolor paper. 44 pages. But that means 22 sheet a page is a front and back. A page, a sheet is front and back, and a page is just the front or just the back. So 22 sheets. And I'll read you what it says about it. You're holding 44 pages of freedom. Unlike typical journals, Strathmore Visual Journals deliver high-performing papers and heavy-duty features engineered to meet the intense demands of your creative process. The wire binding allows the journal to lie flat. Yes, that's exactly why I like these wire bound ones. And open up 360 degrees. That's another good thing about it. You can do this. Ah, that's how I like all my sketchbooks too. Uh, what else? What else? So feel free to reflect, explore, create, and mix it up any way you please. This visual journal is designed to hold your life stories without holding you back. Let's see. For media, it says graphite pencil, pen and ink, colored pencil. No charcoal. No good for charcoal. It would be a waste. It would be a waste to use charcoal on something. Paper this thick really should be used for wet media. But don't use markers because that's a waste too. It sucks out so much of the moisture, way more than needs to be sucked out, and then you have to buy a marker sooner. Uh, although it says you can use marker on it, but I won't. <laughs> no soft pastel. Makes sense. Same as charcoal. Kind of a waste. This oil pastel is alright. <clears throat> Watercolor pencil, of course. Watercolor. Yep. Oh, it's it's super happy for watercolor pencil and watercolor. This has got three dots instead of one dot. Uh, acrylic and collage. But I'm just going to use it for watercolor. little pieces of paper coming up. So, give me a little note. Mystery art supply challenge. The glitter paints need to be activated with water and left to sit for a few minutes in order for the glitter to come up. So, how do I open this? Oh. Comes with a little paintbrush, but I'm gonna get, let's see, I got myself some water ready. And what else? I don't, I don't know if I should just try the, the paints by themselves. Maybe I'll just try a little swatching. See how that goes. But I want a different brush. This 
bigger brush. Super big. Much bigger than the brush that came with it. It's a little it's a little hair coming out. Way bigger. <laughs> I'll leave it out in case I want it though. She said to activate it with water before the lit the, the litter the glitter comes up. I'll just put a little bit of water on each of them in turn. And it'll just make a pretty rainbow to start. The color is definitely coming up, even if the glitter isn't, because I can see it in the water. Squeaking, keep squeaking. Meep, 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 meep. I wonder if this is supposed to be silver. It looks kind of like turquoise almost. Okay. Paper towel from earlier. I can use it as my brush towel now. Yeah, for painting number one, let's just do a wash or something. Just trying to absorb as much. Loading up my brush. Looks like the glitter is moving now. That happened. A little flick. So pretty. Looks like a sunset. But here comes the green. It's not going to be very sunset like anymore. is really satisfying. I love rainbow colors. I just love the rainbow. Love colorful stuff. Man, this is ultra pretty. There is a little bit of glitter, but it doesn't show up nearly as well as it does in the <laughs> in the uh, pan here. That's okay though. These colors are really vibrant and lovely. Mm. Start right here. Ooh, gorgeous! It mixes with the blue. Look at it, so lovely. <sighs> Purple didn't come up as much, but 
still so pretty, especially when it mixed with the blue right there. Now let's see what the heck this is supposed to be. I wish this didn't squeak. There. I got the squeaky away. Wow, now this one looks super good. This looks like nothing but glitter. Glitter paint. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Yeah, I think it's meant to be silver, but it just looks like a gray or even a green color. Our last one is gold. Ooh, yeah. You just see the gold pigment just swirling around. This might be my favorite one. We'll see how it looks on the page, though. It's my favorite one to dip my brush into in the pan. Looks so cool. Look, just looks super metallic. Oh, it's so clear. It's very translucent. And that is just beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let's scooch this up a little bit though, because it's not very. Hard. Move my light a little bit. Not very low lit down here. Move this one too. There. Now what? Uh, maybe I'll do a little drip drops for some texture. Use this brush. Ooh, it is shedding. This brush is super shedding. Maybe I, I won't. I won't use this brush. <laughs> it's shedding a lot. To get a different brush. Okay. It's a little smaller, but try this one out. Try a little drip drops. I'm going to really load it up with pigments. Swirl the heck out of it. Ooh, stop squeaking though. Come on. So squeaky. Get it extra watery. Orange time. What I'm doing is flicking the brush, if you can't tell, just flick it like that and the drips will come out. It's really messy, but it's fun. And since it's watercolor, even if you get it on your shirt, well, I guess unless it's like a white shirt, then you might be in trouble, but you should be able to wash it out without problems. And I do the extra uh, dip after um, getting the color so it'll be extra wet. It's really good for flicking. <laughs> Look at my thumb. Covered in sparkles and paint. I think this one's going to be really juicy. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> this is super fun. My water is getting so sparkly. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but super sparkly. Mm. 
Ooh, purple's finally moving around a lot. Maybe I'll get some more vibrant color out of it this time. Ooh, yeah, look at that. It looks nice. So pretty. Have time to splatter splatter my uh, silver silver color silver ish. It's, it's got a strong green tint for a metallic color. Start for the gold. Go for the gold. Cool. All kinds of stuff I could do with this after looking <laughs> after it's dry. <clears throat> I could scan it in and put like some words on it, like thank you, and make it a thank you card, or make it a birthday card, or I could write on it now. But <laughs> my hat writing isn't that great. I'll leave it like this, and I'll let it dry. Yeah, scan it in, maybe make a thank you card or something. But it's way later than I wanted to be finishing because I was determined to stream even though it took so long to get my streaming setup figured out. I don't know what happened, but that's just what happens when you don't stream for four months or five months, I guess. So I'm going to end it here and I plan to stream again on Wednesday. So hopefully I'll see you then. Thank you for watching.